Hello guys, uh, welcome to Bunty's channel for experimenting with the self-driving race car. Uh, today we are going to uh, experiment with a 3D camera. Uh, in the last couple of months I tried multiple cameras uh, without any success. Uh, but this time uh, I just got a mini Z camera from Stereo Lab which uh, seems promising. So we'll basically try to look into how to uh, start working with that. Uh, I'm actually experimenting with the Jetson TX2 from NVIDIA. And uh, the first thing we have to do is to basically download SDK from the Stereo Lab. So you go to the www.stereolabs.com and download SDK for Jetson TX2. I was using the CUDA 8 3.1 jetpack, so I basically downloaded this Jet SDK for Jetson TX2. Once I downloaded, you have to actually move that to a mini z directory within you can create any directory so you move the file there uh, and then uh, change the permissions to make it executable and then run it uh, it should say that sdk installation complete once the installation is complete uh, then you can go to github on the github you have to basically clone the Studio Lab JetRoss wrapper.kit. So you create a catkin workspace and create a directory underneath. So you create a catkin workspace, create a directory source underneath and then do a git clone from the github.com JetRoss wrapper.kit and go to the catkin workspace and do a catkin make you can then source it into a setup dot bash uh, once that is done you can actually uh, try to see whether your camera is working or not by launching the rv's program uh, so you have to download rv's too in order to actually work with that uh, what another thing you need to know you should be able to if you have not installed the IMU tools you should actually go to ROS github and clone the IMU tools so you basically git clone based on your distribution the one I was using is Kinetic, so I actually do git clone dash p Kinetic and from the GitHub I basically clone the IMU tools dot git into your source directory. You then uh, do raw step install IMU tools to get any dependency uh, for that IMU tools. Then you do the catkin make. Once you do the catkin make, uh, you should basically get the IMU uh, tool set also. Uh, you can then do a ROS launch Z wrapper. So it brings up the RVs. If you see it actually has a robot model there which actually can give you the position of so you can see the position if you move your camera the position actually changes if you keep it still it more or less actually try to give you the position just still 
so that shows that on the this you can see the camera is moving so it's orientation you can actually check out the point cloud see the point cloud so you can experiment with that a uh, couple of time So let's see if you can actually get the values from our ROS node. So what you need to do is first start the ROS core. So we do the ROS core. Then we also need to start a ROS node for odometer reading so I created an odometer listener now we would like to launch the camera but not the RV so we just do the ROS launch jet wrapper jet dot launch so we can check the ROS service list to see what services are being launched and here we can see that my automated listener can actually read in so if I actually keep the camera still you can see the X Y Z position more or less stays same if I move the reading changes so that shows the camera uh, position coordinates are actually being returned properly and we are ready to go do some experiment let me know in the feedback uh, if you have any experience with the 3d camera with tx2 then let me know and if you have any question shoot me an email thanks guys for watching thank you